Welcome to Creative Suit Tutorials YouTube channel. Today we will show you how to do cinematic color grading, speed ramping text animations on a single video to make a cinematic video. First, we will open CapCut PC and import a footage in it. This is a simple slow motion footage and download link for this video is available in the description section. This is a raw footage, and we will color grade it with cinematic LUTs and curves. We will go to the adjustment section and here in LUTs we can see our cinematic color grading LUTs. These are all premium LUTs and we have also provided a link for you to download and use them freely. We can look for the color grading template which suits our video the most. We will just click on this add button and our selected color grading template will be added as adjustment layer on the timeline. Let's create a gap in the start to look at the difference. We can see that this LUTs has changed the way the video look. Now next we will select the adjustment layer and do some basic corrections. We will come to this section and first of all we will enable this option if our footage involves a person. Next we will come down and play with these sliders to look for the best colors for our video. Keep one thing in mind that color grading is all about you sense of colors so you can play with values to look for the best settings. Next we will come to HSL section. Here we can select an individual color and color grade it. We will select the yellow color as it is available in our video. We will also select red color as the court has a nice red color. Next in the curves section, we will edit the points to make our video more cinematic. We will also add a music from the audio section of CapCut. Now we will look at the frame where we want to add the reverse effect. This frame looks good, and we will split it from here. We will also split after some frames. Now we will copy and paste this clip in front on the previous one, and we will reverse it. We will take another copy of the first split clip and paste it after both of these. Now our reverse effect is also completed. Next, we want to add an interesting effect to this clip. We will scroll down and look for the black flash effect. After adding the effect, we can control the intensity of the flash from here.
Now we will add a fade out effect to this effect using keyframes. We can also search for other cool effects from here and apply to our video. Now let's add an cinematic text vibe. We will also add a in and out animation to this text. Now the last effect we will add to this clip is the speed ramping. We will just select the desired clip and go to speed tab. Here we will use a curve preset which starts fast and slows down. We will add this effect here also by same curve method. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. Stay tuned for our next video, and until then, take care.